So the adapter plug goes on where the can wiring would be when it was fitted in the car. And I just have to plug this little multi-plug into the rest of the loom. So it plugs in here nice and easy. There's an OBD port here that we can put the uh, Leaf Spy dongle onto, OBD2 dongle to be strict. And I'm just gonna put these onto 12 volts. Then I can put my dongle on there, open up Leaf Spy, set the Leaf Spy to be battery only, and then uh, I can confirm the values. So here we are, got the OBD2 dongle plugged in. I'm gonna open up Leaf Spy, gonna change to uh, screen grab on the phone while Leaf Spy is running, just to show you how easy this is. So here we are, we've got uh, Leaf Spy. Leaf Spy is open. Just waiting for it to sink. Plug it in and unplug it again. Okay, it's saying no data because we need to reconfigure uh, Leaf Spy to be battery only. So with the three buttons on the top right hand corner, we can go into settings where it says battery size 40 kilowatt hour. Uh, I can change that to 24. And then where it gives the date, you can see the top line says BMS motor inverter. Next line, inverter. Third line is BMS. So we'll go for that. Click on done on the top right corner. And this time around, hopefully, I'm going to re-trigger it again. It's searching for it. And there we go. It's now connected as we'd expect. Nice state of charge for storing these batteries, which is where I'd like to be. Temperature's 13 and a half degrees because that's ambient here today. Really nice millivolt balance even at this low state of charge and yeah we're showing 78.6 percent state of health which is actually slightly above where i was advertising this so all is well customers should be nice and happy